the cost of a watermelon is four dollars. A mango costs twenty five percent less than a watermelon. Mr. Lee bought some watermelons and mangoes for ninety nine dollars. Okay, these are the key information that I need to remember. Next, the watermelons made up thirty percent of the fruits he bought. Okay, wow, this looks complicated. Let's see if we can draw a model and try and solve it. So we'll get a blank page and see how we can solve this. We need to find out how much he spent on watermelons. First of all, A, we need to know that watermelons cost $4 and a mango cost 25% less. Now we have learned from previous experience that 25% is actually one quarter. So, if a watermelon is four quarters, that means there are four units for watermelons. And mangoes were 75%, which is three units. You see, so the mangoes were 25% less than the watermelon. So, if a, wat a watermelon is four dollars, then a mango must be three quarter of that, which is three dollars. Excellent. So next, we have to find out uh, another information that is given, which is that uh, watermelons made up of made up thirty percent of the fruits he bought. So watermelons were thirty percent, and mangoes were seventy percent. That means. 3 units and 7 units. See, by changing them to units, it makes it a lot easier for me. Watermelons, there were 3 units times $4, which is $12. And mangoes, we had 7 units times $3, gives us $21. And a total of? $33. This is one set. And how much money did he collect in the end? How much did he spend in the end? $99. He spent $99 of which one set was $33. So if 99 divided by 33 will give us three sets of mangoes and watermelons. So if there were three sets and we had three units in each set, three units times three sets, how many watermelons did we have? Nine. We had nine watermelons purchased. So we have nine watermelons times four dollars each will give us thirty-six dollars. So he spent thirty-six dollars on watermelons. Two minutes, Okay, 3B. Let's look at 3B. How many mangoes did Mr. Lee buy? Now we know that we had 7 units of mangoes and we had 3 sets of mangoes. So 7 times 3 is 21. So we had 21 mangoes and that is the answer for B. That is a yes. But before we start,